Hi guys, it's Jessica here. Um, this is going to be the uh, end of the year BJD review. Um, so I'm going to show you my uh, entire collection uh, of ball jointed dolls. I'm only going to name the ones that came in this year. So you'll see everybody, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about previous dolls, um, just so I can make this somewhat not three hours long. <laughs> uh, but yes, I, so I hope you understand. Um, but you'll still get to get a look at everybody and get a look at the room. It's not as tidy and clean as I would like. Um, I have been um, uh, working on art, and so uh, they're sewing stuff and art stuff now at the same time, so it makes it kind of messy. Uh, but you can see um, here's the dollhouse that my uh, father-in-law built for me a few years ago. Uh, let's see, let's just go around here. Um, so you can get a view of the room. There's the light, <laughs> the window. So I'm trying to take advantage of this bright sunny day. It's 19 degrees, which is very cold. Um, but uh, it's very bright, it's very sunny. I've kicked out all the dogs except for Olive and Arwen uh, <laughs> um, because they're big babies um, and Olive needs to be watched because she's sick again. So yeah, so okay, I'm gonna flip this around and we'll start the video. Hi guys, we're ready to start this video. It's my youngest and my oldest bulldog. Okay, let's get going. So, uh, I made a list, uh, of the dolls that came in, uh, in 2019, uh, so that I would not forget anybody, and it took me a while, um, let's see, they're kind of, some of them are repeated because I was trying to remember what times they came in. But for the most part, these are all individual dolls. Um, there's also heads um, and parts. Uh, so it's not all, not every one of these is a complete doll. Um, but, uh, and then uh, Hush came in 2020. So, and then these were the ones that I sold or gave away. The Honey Delph Waffle Rose Little Prince. I gifted to my mother-in-law for her birthday, um, and I did end up seal, uh, uh, selling the teal Kalo head, the twiggling Kalo head and, that I had on the Dollshe 26F classic body. I sold that. Um, I, I bought and sold a real flamme within a couple weeks time. <laughs> I knew I probably wouldn't keep her, uh, but I wanted to try her out. Um, uh, and then I sold two heads, my tan vampire Signe head and my Supia Rose sleeping head. So um, I can't think of anything else that I sold. I think the other, I, I did give away a mini fee, um, old body and event head to my, um, my stepmom. I think that was the year before though, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe the year before that, that was maybe a couple of years, time flies. So, okay. Okay, here's the dollhouse. Um, it's too big for me to back up far enough to get a complete view of it. Um, so I have to do this type of thing. So sorry for the um, dizziness. Uh, these boxes that are stacked up here are doll clothes and 90% of them are clothes that I have made for the dolls um, and doll parts. There, there are some heads in those uh, flat boxes. Um, so uh, I need more storage though, <laughs> uh, because I sew too many clothes. So let's start here. Um, let me grab this light. Okay, so my super ghetto lighting for this video is this lamp and I've already tangled Armin. Okay, um, so that we can get in here and uh, see in the back of, sorry for all the jostling, um, of these rooms. <clears throat> so uh, these um, are my Menongenu uh, and mini 
uh, Pieta. So my Mini Kindred by Artifacts Kindred, uh, Mini uh, Twiggling Ingenues. Uh, and I can't remember how many I have right now, <laughs> but there they all are. Did I move them all there? Yeah. Um, they, some of them were scattered about the room, but I, for the video I put them all in here so that we uh, could see them all at once. They didn't all arrive this year, of course. Um, but so let's see here. Uh, um, in the back, <coughs> let's start with uh, these dolls in the back here. Um, the, the guy in the orange pants, I'm sorry, I don't have a spare hand to point. <laughs> uh, he's, he's a new guy this year. He is a, um, a Soul Doll Vito Lester. Uh, and I have wanted him for um, many years, actually. Uh, and I always thought that he was, would be the perfect pairing for my MSD girls. Um, he's a 51 centimeter doll and he is like his proportions are great with the Menangenu girls um, he has a little bit larger head than say the um, my Agati Alfar here who has a more um, realistic proportioned head so I know a lot of people complain about the Soul Doll Vito Vito's having small heads and I think it's because they're used to things like mini fees but they they have they definitely have a, a, a doll aesthetic to them um, and slightly big eyes slightly big head proportion wise um, so they they do per, he does pair well with um, my Menangenu girls so he's in sandy brown resin um, I it, it was a deal that I could not pass up it, <laughs> Um, from a really, really sweet seller. Um, she sent me some sold all clothes along with him. Just amazing. I, I just, he is great. He's got the company face up, a default face up. Um, I was so sad I, uh, when they, when they discontinued, I didn't do the discontinuation event because uh, you couldn't get the Sandy Brown resin, which was what I wanted him in. Um, so yeah, there he is. Uh, he's an awesome doll. I got him at the beginning of the year, so he's one of he is one of the earliest dolls that came in this year. I'm not going in any sort of order, um, but boy, I could really use like a selfie stick to hold this up because my arm is going to get very tired. <laughs> um, so I've got uh, these are these are girls that I've had for a while. My Menangenus. Let's see, um, two the two new mini kindreds here. They were casted um, by. Uh, Reese's new foundry, as she coins it, a, uh, a foundry, a casting foundry in Spain. Um, and uh, they did this lovely um, sandable translucent resin. Um, and these two girls are in teal. Um, so my mini Pieta, she's my first mini Pieta. Um, I've got another one on layaway. Um, I think she's in, she's in not the very darkest color but the one right under it so it's a really really uh what is it sierra i don't i don't know I, I i get the names mixed up um but yeah these two girls um let's see everybody here i think is wearing everybody here is wearing clothes that i've made except for my beautiful um obsidian menangenu who is wearing a raukin corset she is wearing a pair of ruffle shorts that i made her though but otherwise, everybody here is wearing clothes that I made for them. Uh, and this was a big project this year, a um, big sewing project. Uh, I wanted to, and I did a big photo shoot and stuff, which I'd like to redo because I didn't have as good a lighting as I would have liked. But um, <clears throat> they, are, they all are wearing a very similar design to their outfits. Uh, and the shorts that I made where I sewed individual stripes <laughs> onto the fabric. Um, so uh, I'm really happy with this project. Um, <clears throat> oh, there is a Menangenu down here too, actually. She's a hybrid though, but we'll get to that. Um, so yeah, those are, those are new. Um, let's see. Uh, I, I think both of these two girls came in 2018. This guy, this amazing guy, is my Napalm Dolls Chroma, and uh, he is on a um, Dolce Fashion Con body that suits him perfectly. It's an amazing hybrid. I love this guy. Two pieces. Um, 
next to him is, uh, uh, I, I think this is considered light tan. Um, and I think Herla here in the middle is, con is considered dark tan. Um, and then there was this girl who is, uh, I, I think her, I think she's, maybe they call her Ebony. I can't remember what her official color name is. I think I call her Ebony. Um, because she, I think, isn't that what they call a doll? She's very, very, um, dark brown, um, uh, resin. So I don't know, but uh, I'm pretty sure that this girl's considered light tan. She is amazing. She's very special. Uh, her face was actually modded by Depth Stalls, um, and he he modded the sleeping face plate. Uh, I think he, he yeah he opened her eyes slightly. He changed her nose just a little bit, uh, and he gave her this face up. And I love her. I adore her. Um, yeah, she's she's so cool. She's so so cool. Okay, I'm going to switch hands because my arm is getting tired. Okay, let's get situated here. Okay, um, yes, so this girl, I'll zoom up so because I can't point. This girl, she is, um, uh, she's not dyed. This girl's dyed. She's, uh, and I got her, she was from, uh, dyed by Danielle Vita Plastica, who sold her to me. Um, and so I never thought that I would ever have the opportunity to get a girl like this. She, the colors were in the, the new um, uh, Menange News, this color was not uh, one of them. Um, and I just never thought I'd be able to get her. Um, these are all version one Menange News, by the way. Uh, these two girls are on the version two body, uh, which has been adjusted slightly. And it's actually just a tiny bit shorter, but um, yeah, so Gorgeous, gorgeous doll. Uh, she has a face up by Sark. It's amazing. Um, and uh, Roter Volkenwogel. Uh, she sold me this doll. I, I, like I said, I'm, I'm still just in stun that I own her. She's incredible. She's so beautiful. Um, so these other Mananjanu girls arrived um, in previous years. So. Um, the Eiffel House dog. Did she? Did this arrive this year? I can't remember. I can't remember if the Eiffel House Bull Terrier arrived this year or not. I don't have my list and I don't have an extra hand to look at my list. <laughs> but we'll move down a room here. Um, there are some dolls uh, in here that aren't new for sure. I, I can't remember if I put my um, Twinkling Eloy on my Vinitu fifth motif body and I think I made that decision this year it might have been last year though uh, or, or 2018 when I say that because um, we're talking about 2019 here so I don't think I don't think that's a new development but these two centaurs uh, the the fairyland uh, centaur body uh, is from to it's from previous to 2019 um, but this hybrid uh, is uh, that I created this year. Um, and I used a Soul Doll um, kid body, uh, an NH or NL body, and I actually sawed off her bottom heart part because she doesn't have a waist joint. So I made a waist joint for her to fit on this body. And um, it is, it, it, it works. Like this hybrid, it works. It's not perfect and I don't uh, fancy sanding resin. Um, uh, I just don't have an interest in sitting in a hot garage or a cold garage wearing a mask, sanding poisonous resin. So, um, but I can cover it with clothes and I think, she, she, I, I'm so happy with her because this was, uh, this, this was something that I wanted. As soon as I got my first um, Fairyland Centaur body, I knew I wanted to make a hybrid like this. Um, and there was some failed attempts uh, this one was a success. So um, this guy that's next to her, um, <laughs> poor guy is wearing a very uh, unsuitable wig that I put on at the last moment because another doll stole his wig at the last moment. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Um, this is a, um, a hybrid. Uh, he is, let's see, I'm going to change this a bit. He is a, um, the head is a, 
Sold all Vito Lester, um, and it's in uh, um, normal pink skin, and the body is a um, a Sum Zinc. Okay, so this is uh, Idealian 51 body. Uh, so they're 51 centimeter um, dolls, and they made a line. Uh, there was a few different centaurs that they made. Um, and uh, I had to find a head for it. And I, I bought an Eiffel House Tedros head and I bought this one and they both look really good, but I think um, with the goal of pairing with her that the, um, the Lester head aesthetic wise matches her more. Um, and uh, so I feel very lucky to, um, who sold that to me? Lime Parade, is that her name? Just went out of my brain. I'm, I apologize if I'm getting that wrong. Uh, so I'm going to do my best to remember everything and I'll, I'll try to go back in and do voiceover with, if I mess up something really badly. <laughs> um, but, uh, uh, okay. So next room over, um, sorry, we've got some ladies feet here. Uh, <laughs> um, so two guys under here, neither one of these is new either. I don't know. I think putting my Dia head on the, um, Thunderbolt, the long soul Thunderbolt body might be new this year, but I can't remember either. I'm not sure. Um, and then I'm, I think that this hybrid happened last year too, where I put my Benitu head on to the Eiffel House, or sorry, pardon me, uh, Sume, um, Idealian 75 centimeter. So the big, the big one, um, with double joints, with actual real double joints <laughs> in the elbows and also in the legs. Nice body, just huge, 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 huge. Um, this is a new guy this year. Uh, this is my lovely, um, Grumple doll Abaddon in gray resin with a face up by the artist. Let me get my light in here. He's so wonderful. He has um, a Dalshi, here we go, a Dalshi Mystic body um, in the, the modern gray resin I have uh, on order from uh, BJD Divas. Uh, I hope, because I'm, I'm at the two year mark now for two Dalshi dolls that I bought. <laughs> so I'm hoping that all of those dolls will be coming in, hopefully in 2020, that would be really fantastic. Um, okay. Uh, oh, we forgot. I was going to move over to the bookshelf, but we still have dolls here in the dollhouse. Of course we have a bunch of dolls left. Um, so yeah, so this is what we've got left to go through in the dollhouse. Uh, and, <clears throat> uh, I have, what do we have? So we have twiggling girls, uh, they're all sitting here. The two that are standing in the back, these are Supia doll heads hybrided onto Feeple 60 Moe bodies. And I think that I went over them previously that these girls happened. Um, uh, they're, they're in some new outfits. Um, I, I think she's a Hale, Supia Hale. She's in this beautiful Volks outfit that I found for a good price, amazingly, on eBay. Um, and then I gave, uh, oh, I forget the doll. It was the, the Feeple 60 boy that came out, uh, this year and he had these beautiful fairy wings. So she's wearing those. Um, and then, uh, so new girl in the back here, new this year. She is a lovely, lovely gamine. She's a twiggling gamine, um, artifacts kindred. She's gorgeous. Um, I switched her body around. She did have the short waist. I put the long waist on her. So she has long legs and long um, torso. And she's just a gorgeous doll. I can't wait to get a face up on her. She's next to my tan Elbe. And uh, in the front here, um, uh, the only one that is new actually uh, is my incredible obsidian resin elf ingenue. So she's got the elf ears. She's different from the ingenues. So these two were, um, um, 
oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Magic Mirror or Nanolin worked together with Reese um, and she had, she basically did some adjustments to Reese's Ingenue sculpt. Um, and these, these two heads were the result. So Ingenue's and Elf Ingenue. Um, I, I actually have another tan Ingenue's that uh, from right from Reese's private collection that she um, let me buy from her, so they've got the um, the original hands with the long nails, and I think I think Nanolin here. Let me get my light in here. I think Nanolin did uh, the long nails on those. Um, so yeah, she's incredible. I made her an extra special outfit out of. This lace um, it is, or not lace, sorry, um, silk, Dupani silk. She has a face up by uh, Ophelia Dolls, um, who uh, who bought the doll before I could, and then almost immediately, like within a month, <laughs> offered her to me and then let me do a layaway and was the biggest sweetheart ever to exist. Um, she sent her to me uh, when I finished the layaway, and she also sent me um a doll zone carter as a gift and i i still just i'm so grateful for her friendship and sweetness next to us here so uh these girls um are not new but pieta's face up is new uh her face up was by um ophelia dolls and she changed her name and i can't remember what it is now i, I i'll try to put it in uh, in after if I can remember to um that was that was the other thing I wanted to show the new face-ups so Ophelia Dolls did uh Mint Lady's face-up here um which I think of all of the face-ups she's done for me this is probably my most favorite I just love it so much um and then she did this one on my um Lilac Lady love it it she did have eyelashes um and i uh, i'm really good at screwing up eyelashes and had to remove them but she had put some very very lovely eyelashes on that i may attempt to reapply because they were very nice okay so now we have these dolls up here to go over I'm going to let my arm rest a minute because I'm holding this camera the whole time. <laughs> okay, so these girls up here, um, most of my MSD, I guess, yeah, all of my MSD lily cats are up here. Um, none of them are new. Oh, that's not true. Uh, this hybrid girl is. Um, so I think what I'll do is grab down the new ones and show them in the camera uh, so that... I can show you guys so um, the dolls that are up here so <clears throat> um, here we go here we go tan little fee Chloe um, she is uh, um, I got her for a really good deal this year, and I, I've been wanting a tan little fee, either an Auntie or a Chloe, um, for a, a long while, and so just was always on the lookout for one to hit the marketplace, and um, so I kind of, I pounced when this girl came up, and um, she's super cute. Okay, my manin. Okay, so this is a hybrid girl. Let's see, let me try. She is a um, lily cat man in head on a doll zone girl body. And this body was uh, came with a Carter head. This is the one that um, uh, that Ophelia dolls sent as a gift and uh, the, um, I ended up getting this man in head and it just, the, it's not the exact, uh, match. Um, it's the, the textures are actually, it's a lot more translucent resin on the doll zone, but, um, I think she's really cute and I really like her a lot. So, and she fits in great. I love Manon. 
Next to her is another hybrid. And, oh my gosh, it's going to go out of my head. Um, shoot. Angel Tofu? He's on a, um, Angel Tofu, God, I can't remember. God, that sucks. Um, okay, well, Angel Tofu, uh, and I, Bear Called Red had one with, with the normal ears, and I just loved that doll so much. Um, they used to show him all the time on their, um, Instagram, and so, uh, the, he came out with, or the original artist came out with the angel tofu sculpt, and um, and I bought this one secondhand. He came with this really cute face up, um, and I have him on a uh, um, a white skin uh, moi boy body, moi boy body, <laughs> mini fee moi body. There we go. Um. This is, here we go. <laughs> this is a hybrid on a um, tiny delf body that is new this year. Um, and uh, my doll Pam Aruba head, the sleeping head, which is not new. She's one of my oldest dolls. I'm one of my first early dolls. Uh, but um, I think she's really cute on this hybrid. Okay, I've actually got smart here and I'm using my um, tripod. I'll try to use it as much as I can to save my arm. <laughs> um, but here is uh, this bunch, um, who is an older bunch, um, except for this head. Um, this is a tan uh, um, People 60 Celine by, oh my gosh, it just went out of my head who the face-up artist was. Um, very nice face-up artist and very excited to have uh, a, um, a head painted by her. And I think I bought her from Puffy Puffers pretty sure yeah um and she she was on sale for a long time and she reduced the price and I'm like girl <laughs> I can't resist any longer um so she is very beautiful I've always wanted a tan people 60 Celine um I need I'm in need of <laughs> a few more of these tan people 60 bodies though because um uh my my Sion doesn't have a body now um so <clears throat> yeah um but uh, so she's on the body right now and she's next to my merwin um and i just i love these dolls they both have gorgeous face-ups celine has a face-up by raquel clemente okay this is great <laughs> this is saving my arm i just have to hold the lamp now <laughs> if you guys can see the behind the scenes it's pretty pathetic um so, uh, new dolls in this bunch, um, Neela and her sister Elowen back there, they're, they're not new, they're older dolls, um, my, um, Blueberry, my French Bulldog Puppy, um, by, uh, a Russian sculptor who I can never <laughs> say her name, uh, she was from 2018, I, I'm pretty sure, um, but the new ones are my Hippogriff, uh um um real feline or r line uh um what, what fairyland r line uh so that like the um real fee uh and they made individual different bodies um so it's got horse hooves and um <clears throat> uh eagle feet and an eagle head and they have one uh that has uh, the lion feet instead of the um, eagle feet. And uh, I would love to get the purple one. So I think they have one in purple too. Um, and it's just, it's so, it needs to be restrung. Um, I, someday it will get blushed and be an absolutely gorgeous piece of work. Um, but 
it's fantastic and I couldn't pass it up. Um, and then there's this guy uh, who is a garlic dragon. I got him to join my uh, um, bulldog dragon uh, crew and to maybe be olive, but we're way too big to be olive. Um, so uh, we'll see what I decide. Might end up being Lola and I might reassign some characters, but very, very cute, very well made. Um, it's actually hand casted in resin and not 3D printed as I thought it was going to be. Um, so uh, I guess it's really being blown out in the light here. Um, but cute little thing. Uh, and I guess it's based off of um, Bulbasaur, who is a Pokemon, who everybody and their sister had to message me and tell me this and tell me about it um, because it was a shock to everybody that I didn't know who Bulbasaur was. Um, <laughs> the, only, the only one I know is Pikachu. They're all Pikachu to me. Okay, let me change the camera again. Okay, on top of the bookcase is uh, are some of my centaurs. Um, and uh, the one that is new this year is this uh, circa tan no it's agritan agritan circa body uh which i have hybrided my lily cat uh kitty jolie in the the pink resin um antique pink resin is what it's called yeah uh and i have this is her sleeping face plate um yeah because she's on the hybrid she calls uh Lily Cat calls it the, the hybrid MSD body, um, and it had a waist joint with a cute little tummy, just like the, the Chibi Moons, um, which allowed them to be hybrided onto the real feet bodies. And then there's Neela um, on her centaur body, and I think that that all happened in 2018. Um, so yeah, there are my hybrids, my centaur hybrids, every one of them. I guess, uh, I guess um, Neela's not a hybrid. Okay, so over here are my mini fees, and let me reposition this monstrosity that I've got going on here.